Welcome back to my channel and the biology tutorial. Today we see the female reproductive system with the help of the model. You know the female reproductive system which is consists of pair of ovary, second pair of fallopian tube, next one it is a single uterus and the last one it is a vagina. This ovary which is present the ovary it is considered as the primary female sex organ. The ovary produces the female gamete that is stand as the ova and it secret the ovarian hormones. This ovarian hormone first one it stand as the estrogen and the second one it stand as the progesterone. The ovary it is located on one side on each side of lower abdomen region. The ovary it is remain attached to the abdominal wall by a ligament and that ligament it is called as the meso ovarian ligament. So you can see here there is a presence of the ligament. The second the ovary it is about 2 to 4 centimeter in length. It is somewhat almond shaped structure. This ovary it is connected to the pelvic wall as well as the ovary it is connected to the uterus by means of a ligament and that ligament it is stand as the ovarian ligament. Afterward the ovary each of the ovary you can see here it is tumi bagu shaktat ovary it is covered by a thin epithelial cell called as the germinal epithelial cell. This germinal epithelial it encloses the ovarian stroma. The stroma it is uh, composed of an outer peripheral dense layer called as the cortex region and the inner part it called as a medulla region. The second part which is present in the female reproductive system it called as the oviduct. This oviduct it is also called as the fallopian tube. So you can see here this one is the fallopian tube. This fallopian tube it is also called as the mullerine duct. It is also called as the uterine tube. This fallopian tube it is about 10 to 12 centimeter long and it is extended from the periphery of each of the ovary to the uterus the part closer to the ovary zo part ovary cha zavar ahe fallopian tube cha zo part ovary cha zavar ahe tya part la matla jata infantibulum means the part which is close to the ovary that part it is called as the infantibulum this infantibulum you can see here it is the funnel shape structure the edges of the infundibulum it shows the finger like a projection. Here there is a presence of finger like a projection and that a finger like projection it called as the fimbri which help in collection of the ohm at the time of after the ovulation. Ovulation zalanantar ohm la collect karna cha kam he infundibulum madhe hota. The infundibulum it leads to the wider part of the oviduct that is called the ampulla region. The last part of the oviduct is the isthmus region. So this ampulla, so you can see on this part it stands as an ampulla. The ampulla it is a middle long straight part of the oviduct. The last part you can see this one is the last part. The last part of the fallopian tube it is called as the isthmus the isthmus has a narrow lumen and it is joined to the this larger part it called as the uterus manja first part kanta hai infundibulum second part it stand as the ampulla region sorry second part it stand as the ampulla region and the last part it stand as the isthmus region the wall of the oviduct it is highly muscular and it is lined or it is made up of by a simple columnar ciliated epithelial which help to the movement of the ova 
आफ्टर द ओव्युलेशन म्हणजे ज्यावेळेस या ओव्हरीमधून ओव्हम बाहेर येणार आहे त्या ओव्हमला फॅलोपियन ट्यूबमध्ये पुश करण्यासाठी आतमधल्या साईडला यामध्ये कोणत्या सेल असतात सिम्पल कॉलमनार सिलिएटेड एपिथेलियल टिश्यू आफ्टर वट द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इट स्टँड ॲज द दिस इज द दिस पार्ट इट स्टँड ॲज द युटेरस इट स्टँड ॲज द युटेरस दिस युटेरस इट इज असं कॉल्ड ॲज द वोम हा जो मधला पार्ट दिसतोय हा पार्ट आहे युटेरसचा पार्ट असं कॉल्ड ॲज अ हायस्टेरा इट इज अ हॅलो मास्क्युला अँड द प्युअर शेप ऑर्गन दिस युटेरस इट इज अ इन्व्हर्टेड प्युअर शेप स्ट्रक्चर इट इज सपोर्टेड बाय द लिगामेंट अटॅच टू द पेल्विक वॉल दिस युटेरस इट इज द कॉन्सिट or it is divided it into the three region the first region it stand as the fundus the second part it stand as the body and the last part it stand as the cervix region so what is this fundus the fundus manje ha jo varcha part ahe yala mantla jata fundus madla jo part ahe tala mantla jata body ani last jo part ahe tala mantla jata cervix what is this fundus the fundus it is the upper dome shape part it is the normally the implantation of the embryo it is occurs in the fundus region the second one it stand as the body this body it is a larger part ha jo pai purna part ahe ha he body cha part the body it is the broader part of the uterus it is gradually tapers towards the downward side the last part it called as the cervix it is a narrow part and it is about 2.5 cm in length and this cervix it is opens it into the last part that is stand as the vagina the next one about the wall of the uterus the uterus you can see here this is the uterus in the uterus there is a presence of the three wall the first wall it stand as the epimetrium second it stand as the myometrium and the third part it stand as the endometrium so this one is a epimetrium second one it's a myometrium and the third one it's a endometrium that is this is the perimetrium myometrium and the inner one it stand as the endometrium what is this perimetrium the perimetrium it is the external thin membrane structure second one this part it stand as a myometrium the myometrium it is a middle thick layer of the smooth muscle ha konta cell pasun banlela it is consist of the smooth muscle the endometrium this endometrium it is a inner glandular layer and it is line that lines the uterine cavity the last part of it it stand as the vagina so this one is stand as the vagina this uterus uterus opens into an elastic muscular tube and that the elastic muscular tube it called as the vagina this vagina is lined by the non keratinized stratified squamous epithelial but what is important here there is absence of the gland means this vagina it does not shows the presence of the any gland hope so you understood there is a female reproductive system with the help of the model thanks for watching my video stay tuned to my channel thank you